Hi. Hi, Mila. Hi. Thank you. We love you so much. Oh, you're so soft. Did you just take a bath? Want to say hi, Ruby? Want to say hi? No. Okay. Here. Alright. Hello, everyone. Hopefully my camera's going to cooperate today. This is what I'm looking like. I'm still getting over a cold, but I wanted to try this. This girl... Amaya, 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 Aaliyah, colon, uh, col I don't know, but I'm sure you guys have seen her on TikTok. She does this kind of, to me at least, crazy makeup routine, but her makeup always ends up looking so good, and so I want to try it. So, first I want to do some skincare because... I never understood how people can do such matte makeup on their face and it not look cakey. Like, that seems insane to me. And maybe I'm just like, you know, not that good at makeup and I'm not, but <laughs> I have dry skin and I just, I don't understand how people do it. I never go for a matte look. I always go for a dewy look. But honestly, I would love to to do a matte look. I feel like it looks so like polished and clean when it's and just like like a full beat when you do actual. What do you like? Hmm? A matte look just looks so Instagram matty, you know? Also, I do not have the same products that she has, but we're gonna try with what I have. I actually need to like let this all dry before I begin. I'll be back. I'm back and I'm ready. Under my eyes. You want to apply a good amount of this since we are not going to be using any foundation. I love this concealer. I love this concealer from Lancome, but it is a little bit darker than me. Rare Beauty one. I don't know. Give it a try. Okay, she does a lot, so I'm very I scared. I honestly feel like it is the perfect shade for my skin tone, and it's so creamy. Go down the bridge, chin, forehead. Now we're gonna go on the sides. Okay. She's doing bronzer now. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this Wet and Wild. Doesn't compare to her Hourglass, but let's do it. Now we're gonna take this Hourglass foundation stick. This is in the shade Golden Almond. On the warmer side, and a little bit goes a long way with this. You guys will see what I mean. A little bit here. We're gonna start blending out our contour and then she blends it with a brush like, this is so much makeup for me so much and you want to really take your time with this you could use any brush i'm just using this flat brush it's okay if it touches your concealer you're gonna just blend this out until you're satisfied on both sides it does look super like orangey, 
but I promise you guys, it's all gonna come together. Trust the process. I also noticed that like, she doesn't really blend out her forehead so much, but it ends up looking good. I don't understand. Okay, then she takes another brush. Now with another brush, we're gonna start blending in our concealer from the bottom up. Go over your cream contour with your concealer brush. Blend, blend, blend. I'm like super nervous about my forehead right here because yeah, I can already tell it's flaking. beauty blender we're gonna just blend this all out I feel like blending it out under your eyes and everything this is what's really about to pull the base together that's why we needed a generous amount of concealer to begin with yeah I'm not exactly sure this is gonna turn out great go over everything look at how seamless it's already starting to look I used a brush for this step the last time I did this, but a sponge works just as well. Okay, now this is totally your preference, but I'm gonna go in with a little more concealer for that extra coverage and just to lighten up a little bit in between my forehead. The key to this look is to really just blend everything out. Okay, this is how my face is looking. She's putting powder. Powder's gonna fuck up my face. I'm taking this House Labs powder. Set my under eye using Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna go right in and press, press, press everything in. I don't bake. Pressing this powder in just really is gonna give you that flawless, smooth makeup look. And as you guys can see, I'm just bringing it down to the rest of my face, but really focusing underneath my eye. Whatever excess I have, I'm gonna just go into my forehead. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead, just repeat that process one more time because this is gonna really just make everything super flawless. I know a lot of people are afraid of using a lot of powder because they think it's gonna make them look cakey, but if you use it the proper way, to look even more flawless. Is that a bronzer? I don't know. Um, I have this L'Oreal Invaluable. She's just going over her bronzer. I'm now going in with Caramel Cutie from Fenty Beauty go over this to really enhance everything face more color finishing i'm like patting it on i'm not like scraping it back and forth because i don't want my makeup to move guys my light is making me look so white holy shit i have not put on this much makeup in a minute are you guys gonna have to bear with me because it's looking crazy she's contouring the nose i've seen that same caramel cutie from fenty beauty and i'm gonna just contour my nose lightly use any cream contour for my nose because i just feel like it's more subtle when i do it this way the same brush and the same bronzer i'm gonna just go all over my eyelid your eyes some color a pretty brown such an amazing hack for when you're not in the mood to do like a full eye look don't be afraid to like she's moving way too fast drag it out a little bit because it's gonna just make your eyes look more lifted cute you guys literally can't see shit like it's way too fast hold on is that better wow i'm a dumb okay she's doing blush so she was 
heavy on the blush. I'm going to use this kimchi blush. My favorite part of my makeup, my blush, we're gonna mix Glam by Maja out in Blossom Pink and She's It All by Patrick Ta. These are two super, super gorgeous pinks. Brush this on. I like to go layer on my cheekbone and then kind of bring it down. I like this brush because it's slightly to like blend out. How pretty that is. Blush makes such a difference. Put some on your nose, chin, and forehead. I'm gonna add a little more because I love blush. She's moving so fast, she's giving me anxiety. Okay. Let's just finish and I will share my thoughts. Okay? She's doing lips. Now I'm gonna line my lips using the Glam by Maja lip liner in the shade Wood. Lining my lips always takes me super long because I'm super picky with my lips. Now I'm gonna take Iconic Nude by Glam by Maja. It's like a lighter nude and I'm gonna just blend out darker lip liner into the rest of my lip. This allows for my lipstick or lip gloss to go on and it not be such like a sh harsh like dark line. Okay, then she uses a nudie pink. This lip gloss is so amazing. It is the Buxom White Russian. It's their lip plumping lip gloss. It's this really pretty like nudie pink. Then my go-to lip combo for like the last few weeks and then we'll put a gloss that's right guys It kind of doesn't look bad. Like it kind of looks bad in the camera, but no, it looks bad. <laughs> I look like a clown. I do. I do. <laughs> I don't, maybe I just didn't blend enough. I just think I'm not used to this. It's a lot of makeup. I never put concealer like that under my eyes and I'm like feeling like a crazy doll. Gosh. I'm gonna blend this in a little bit more. Like, the lighting, I don't know. The camera is not showing you guys how it really looks. It's because I have dry skin flaking off here <laughs> and just little kind of patches of like dryness. However, I don't think it looks bad. It's very glam. It's not an everyday look for me. Also like messy hair and everything, you know. I'm sure it would look really pretty if I had some lashes on, if my hair was done, if I had an outfit on, and I would feel good. But, I think my face is a little too dry for this look. I don't normally use powders. Um, I do a little bit, but not the way that she did it. And the concealer, I think I like really like the way that it looks bright in this area, but a little bit too much. I think I'll definitely incorporate that into my routine, just a lot less. So, yeah. Also, the forehead, I think I'll try this again and, and not do any concealer here because this patch right here is extremely dry and anything i put on it just flakes off so i don't know 
I do feel pretty, but when you get up close, it's like, eh. So, I gotta get ready for my day, and I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, or maybe give me some tips, some pointers, um, if you know how I can deal with this dry skin, patchiness, flaky issue. Yeah, I look like shit. Okay. Bye.